Today on Cabela's Deer Gear TV, we'll show you how to start a supplemental feeding program with the help from Record Rack. From mineral sites, protein pellets, and deer blocks, to some common mistakes when first starting out. All this and more here on Cabela's Deer Gear TV. Deer management is a year-round commitment to ensure a healthy herd and a successful hunt in the fall. For those who can, having a high-quality supplemental feeding program is one way to do that. In this episode, we'll spend some time with Record Rack's Bobby Deeds as he explains how Record Rack's lineup of protein and minerals can help you start your own supplemental feeding program. You know, I get asked a lot of times, you know, why would I want to start a supplemental feeding program? First off, attracting more deer to your hunting area. Uh, I think that's a big key. If you're dedicated to your feeding program and you're going to stick to that program, you're going to bring more deer into the area, as well as other game species a lot of times. Secondly, the animals that come into that area are going to have a nutritional advantage over other animals. So why would they want to leave? You know, they're going to be in, uh, they're going to be healthier. And finally, you potentially can get a lot of those bucks on some of the feeding programs in the area and all the trace minerals and all the nutritional benefits and all the protein that they're going to get, I mean, it can cause a lot of them to blossom. I mean, we see it in a lot of the different hunting situations that we deal with. Uh, our three-year-old deer are better now than they were, you know, five and ten years ago. And when you can get some of those deer to maturity, when they start to get to that five and six years uh, age different, you can definitely see the dif differences when we hunt other places that do not have a supplemental feeding program. So there's no question about it. A good, well-managed feeding program will pay off with more game, healthier game, and potentially bigger bucks. Let's hear from Record Rack's Bobby Deeds on how a supplemental feeding program with Record Rack's products can help the average hunter. The biggest thing is attraction. I mean, whether we're talking about supplemental protein or our blocks, deer nuggets, even our corn. We have very flavored corn now too. You can put our stuff next to anybody's and it's going to disappear first. So the level of attraction that you get with any of our products is second to none. So obviously that's the goal of anybody that's got a limited amount of time they can spend on a lease is they want to see as many deer as they possibly can. So utilizing basically one end to the other, especially like this year on this ranch we're sitting on right now has got a lot of acorns. Um, you can take deer nuggets, you can take the blocks and a lot of things, you know, and put them out there and you're actually going to get intake. Primarily because of our flavoring and, and you know, the very flavor that we put into it is the primary piece they can smell it from a long ways off and you know you see a lot of apple or persimmon or some stuff that don't doesn't even grow in this country flavored and the deer doesn't know what that is but for some reason this berry deal we've done a lot of extensive trials on flavorings uh, where we tested five different berry flavors against pretty much anything else that's that's out there and this is the one we found just blew everything away. So obviously that's in our feed because they can find it. Then once they get a bite of it, they like it. But secondly, just because of the response they get. Most attractants or supplements that are out there aren't nutritionally balanced. They're loaded with grain or, or whatever you know type of a uh, commodity-based product that they can get their hands on that typically causes digestive upset. So it's just like putting a pile of Snickers bars in front of a kid and saying, yeah, they're going to go eat it. But then after they get a stomach ache, they're not going to eat any more of it. Record Rack's not like that. It's nutritionally balanced so that, yeah, it tastes like a Snickers bar, but it's also good for their gut. It's not going to cause any kind of room and health issue. Let's learn more about Record Rack's berry flavored deer blocks from Wade and how he deploys them out in the field for maximum results. There are times of the year that I really feel like that block is just, and it just brings them in. The, the irresistible berry uh, smell and aroma to these, these record rack blocks is the first thing that you'll notice. And then as you dig deeper into it, the palatability of it, when you start looking at scouting cameras, how these deer are just nibbling and chewing and beating it down. And then over time, I mean, that block just totally disappears in, in such a fast manner. And, and they're so easy to deploy whether you're hauling a bunch of them around in the back of your side-by-side -side or a truck or just carrying it into the, you know, the little hunting stands off the beaten path. That's, that's one of the benefits of these blocks. You can put it in, walk away, forget about it, and know that something's gonna come and eat it. You know, as I've said many times, the benefits of these types of blocks is they're so easily deployable. And just like a lot of times when we're putting protein out or 
mineral out. I want to be somewhere where there's some water near it. I just think that's, you know, and that's, that's an automatic attractant for them anyway. And right here, we've got a great little crossing. Uh, you know where these rocks are. A lot of, a lot of deer, a lot of game are, are crossing and going right up this way and back out that trail right there. So we're just going to set it down right here and, and call it good and know we're going to get benefit out of it. Easiest to deploy. All you got to do is take this off, take it with you. Now I'll tell you a little trick I do sometimes. You can actually throw this down on the ground and break it or cut it with a saw or however you want to and split it up and make a couple places. But in this case here, we're gonna leave it exactly like that. And you can see, you know, we got pieces of corn in this one here, you know, to kind of mix with that berry flavor to make it very easy for them to locate it. It's very you know, attractant friendly for lack of a better word. And then as they bite into that, they're gonna get all different minerals and nutritional balance and benefits you could expect out of something like that. So I promise you this will be eaten up pretty fast. More deer management tips with Record Rack when we return. Deer Gear is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Yamaha's proven off-road ATVs and side-by-side -side vehicles. Garmin Zero Bowsight. Leave the guesswork behind. Before the road trips, the cool mornings, the hot cast iron, the short nights, and the long cast, there's one stop that you can't afford to miss. It's time to gear up and camp out at Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Save on all your camping essentials in store and online. Your adventure starts here. Trade hours for seconds. Let's continue our discussion about how a supplemental feeding program can help your deer herd with a new product from Record Rack that provides more nutritional value than deer corn. You know, Record Rack's Golden Deer Nuggets, basically it's a irresistible wild berry flavored extruded product that draws deer in. And that's a key thing, drawing them in. You want to be able to attract them obviously to any type of a feeding program you've got out there. And we've used the Golden Deer Nuggets in several different applications. Actually mix it with corn in timer feeders where you're throwing it out, poured it simply on the ground, as well as putting it in uh, mixed bags in some of our free choice feeders like we've got here with this boss buck. And the ultimate goal of that is to be able to, number one, attract and hold deer into an area, but also to, to provide some type of nutritional benefit, and that's what the Golden Deer Nuggets do. Golden Deer Nuggets was something that we came out with, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago, and it was a product that was designed to be used in spin cast feeders in place of corn. And we really didn't know what we had when we, when we made it because it, it's basically extruded rice bran with, a, you know, we balanced that out to hit a protein, energy, and, you know, trace mineral standpoint after that. But deer love rice bran. And once you extrude that and make it more digestible, and then you add the, the different palatability enhancers that we have at Record Rack to it, we wound up with an attractant that was just, I mean, a quantum leap ahead of anything else that's out there. Deer will come through a brick wall to get to that stuff. So, and once you get them on it, you'll actually see deer, if you mix it with corn, they'll pick all the nuggets out before they even pick up the corn. So, just a tremendous attractant that's actually better nutritionally than corn. The deer nuggets are 12% fat, so you're gonna elevate the energy level that's in the feed coming out of your spin cast feeder. You know, corn has an inverted calcium phosphorus ratio. It's not really high in energy, it's got a lot of starch in it. Now, we can't sling enough feed out of a spin cast feeder to really affect anything but I don't want to be spinning something out that could possibly cause damage. So what we're, we're actually doing is we're balancing the calcium phosphorus ratio when you mix that, and we're also decreasing the total starch level when you mix some golden deer nuggets in there, all of which are good for those deer nutritionally. It helps them get more out of their habitat when we're not messing with the pH of their gut. But we wanted something that you could feed along with corn through a spin cast feeder that was either better nutritionally and obviously a better attractant, and that's what we got.
We've received a lot of questions about our supplemental feeding program and have asked what kind of results we've seen. Let's hear from Bobby and Wade on this now. First thing you see obviously when you put supplemental feed into a pasture is you see less pressure on your preferred browse. So, you know, it, it does help with habitat some. You can carry more deer because they're going to rely on that as a food source. The reason most people lose a lot of deer nutritionally or don't have as many deer is because when those fawns are weaned off of mom, they got to rely on what the habitat's producing or what's coming out of a feeder. And if you have supplemental feed available for those fawns, your fawn recruitment, it just, that's the first thing I see improve on a good effective supplemental feeding program is the fawn recruitment and that really adds to the numbers. It's total herd health and herd dynamics. We want more fawns, we want bigger body condition. If you have an effective supplemental feeding program, we're never going to turn a deer that's you know genetically predisposed to be an eight point into a 12 point. It's just not going to happen. But if you have an effective feeding program, you're going to have more mass, and you could have some longer time length, but more mass and more body condition is what we're after, and then obviously more deer. Every part of the United States has a different deer density, has different deer habitat, has different, uh, different deer hunting results, frankly. I mean, you're gonna find some areas that just produce better. Uh, and a lot of that can be based on the soil, it can be based on the farming, can be based on the uh, genetics in that area. I mean, there's many, many things that, that help make that up. And, and I look at some of the places that we hunt across the nation and, and you look at the differences uh, in each one of them. In some places, you can grow great food plots. In other places, it's too rocky and the terrain's just not good enough. And it doesn't mean that there's not a deer population in some of those uh, harsher countries. It just means that you've got to work harder and provide a better supplemental feeding program for those deer to match up potentially to some of the other deer that have better nutritional benefits just basically because the land is better. So there's reasonings behind really coming in aggressive in some of these locations with a, a more aggressive feeding program than others. And when you find that perfect recipe of what mother nature has already given you and what you can provide supplementally, man, you can really have some great deer hunting results. When we return, we'll talk about mineral supplements and the best place to put them. Stay tuned. Deer Gear is brought to you by Record Rack, Serious Nutrition. Thompson Center, America's Master Gunmaker. Stealth Cam, Proven. High Viz, see what you've been missing. Inside every Yamaha lives the heart and soul of a competitor. The DNA of a champion. When you ride with us, it revs your heart and becomes a part of you too. The Thompson Center Compass 2. A feature-rich rifle packed with value and a higher standard of reliable accuracy. Now with generation two trigger and threaded muzzle, offered in scoped and non-scoped versions and in a wide variety of calibers, from the range to the fields to the mountains, TC has a rifle to match every hunter's needs. You know, there's a lot of locations across the United States that people really live and die with their mineral. Uh, they'll go out and deploy it in a lot of different situations for you know the strict reason of attracting deer to that location, both from a hunting and a benefit for uh, for the nutritional value for the deer. And you can use this spring, summer, and fall. I mean, it is in, into the winter. I mean, it's a it's a great attractant that. Uh, deer are going to come to and some of the things I like about this is it actually <laughs> they're easy things there there's no question they're going to eat it but the little handle allows me to carry it long distances into the field open it up pour it out on the ground and deer are instantaneously drawn to it. A mineral has long been known to be very productive and helpful for white-tailed deer and record rack bam their big antler mineral um, it's been designed to basically help you you know, come out for feeding in spring, summer, fall, and winter. And, you know, to me, we use, I mean, a lot of places do, they use corn as an attractant, but corn doesn't necessarily have a lot of benefits to, to the deer. And there are times of the year that it's really important to, to give them more, whether it's in the form of a block or a, 
or a pellet or a bag of uh, a mineral, much like what we've got right here. And the easy thing about a product like this is all you've got to do is pour it on the ground and you're gonna get benefit. And what I like to do is I'll take one or two bags, basically like what I've got right now, and I'll go in a semi-circle around a hunting area that I've got set up. And uh, right over here, not far away, we've got a, a ladder stand. It's an area we know has a lot of deer. It also has a creek right here next to us, and it, it provides a great location. It's a natural area for deer anyway, so we're basically just supplementing it uh, to, for the deer to come in here and gain more out of it. And, and what I'll do is I'll take a bag like this. You can pour the whole bag out, you can pour portions. What I like to do is take a bag and of this size right here and make two piles. Maybe I'll make one right here. I'll go about 30 or 40 yards over here and I'll make another and I'll basically make a semi-circle or a full circle around an area that I know I'm gonna be hunting in. I know it's got good deer anyway and I wanna enhance or give those deer in that area an added benefit. This is so easy to use. You can basically just take it and pour it right here on the ground like that. And that'll be my pile number one. We'll walk around here a little bit. Actually, we're going to get a little closer down here to the creek for pile number two. And, and like I said, you can feed this spring, summer, fall, and winter and the deer are gonna get benefits of it because there's such a variety of stuff in here to help them in, in tough times and in good times. And the particular mineral that I'm feeding here actually has a berry attractant. So it's, it's got a scent that the deer like. It's gonna draw them in from a long distance away. And uh, you know, you can come back to this exact location. And I mean, you'll see where, you'll just see a dirt pile around here where they've cleared out this entire location. And, uh, and they're gonna gain benefit from it every time they visit a spot like this. Let's head on around to the next spot. You know, this is a natural trail in that same area we were talking about. This trail actually leads right almost up to our hunting stand right here. And we're just giving these deer a reason to continue to come here. The other two piles I made are 100 yards away, closer to the creek right over there. Pour this part of it right here. And then we're gonna pick it up and go to the next one. It's just that simple. We'll pull that, actually there's some droppings of a deer right there. There's some old rubs all through here. I know what's been in this area by looking at it on scouting cameras and actually sitting in this stand and you know, I come down through here about once a month and kind of update this area and it, it just gives them a nutritional benefit. It's just like us as humans. There's times where we need a few more little vitamins and minerals in our diet to, you know, feel better, uh, get in better shape. And you'll take something like this BAM here from Record Rack and Sportsman's Choice. You're gonna you're gonna gain some up, gain some out of it in both attracting game into your area and also enhancing them. And you know what's interesting when you start looking at, at BAM and mineral as a whole that people use. There are some places where deer just simply don't get on it as fast as they do others, but the places that they do, you will find those deer coming back time and time again to the exact same location. And, and that's where a lot of people put up their scouting cameras and their deer stands to be able to harvest big bucks and fill the freezer uh, from the doe standpoint. So the BAM here by Record Rack is a great attractant that provides a lot of benefit to your white-tailed deer. When we return, we'll wrap the show up talking about some common mistakes that are made when starting a supplemental feeding program. Deer Gear is brought to you by Performance Center by Smith & Wesson. Performance when it matters most. Engel Coolers, the original high-performance cooler. Conquest Sense, hunting and dog sense. This changes everything. The Ultra Compact Vapor RS 470. The AccuSlide Safety Cocking System revolutionizes the crossbow market. Simply backwind the handle, stopping at any point without fear of damage, injury, or losing control. Its reverse draw design generates 470 V per second. Its three and a half pound zero creep trigger delivers same hole accuracy. The all new Vapor RS 470 from 10 Point. <laughs>
Before starting a supplemental feeding program, we want to share some common mistakes people make when first starting out. First is just don't go out there and just cover it up with feed and expect results overnight. You know, people get really antsy about putting feed out there and just thinking deer are going to jump right on it and then next year I'm going to have 30 inches better on my, on my antlers. It's a process. So, and it's something that you have to be committed to. That, that's the biggest thing is we see people, I see so many people put protein out just during hunting season and wonder why their deer aren't bigger. So it's something that you have to be committed to, primarily that January through August window, you know, when we're actually going to, to affect antler production. So, you know, that's really the first thing is just not being in it for the long haul is the biggest mistake that I see. Secondly is they don't usually have enough feeders. Um, most people will put, you know, they've got 640 acres or 1,000 acres and they put two protein feeders on it. And if you're not effectively getting enough protein into that animal, you're not going to affect any of the you know, dynamics that we're trying to, to improve. So when I talk about the amount of feeders that you need, you need to have at least one permanent protein feeding station for every 25 head of deer you're feeding. That's kind of just, you know, 20 to 30, somewhere in that range. That and, you know, I, I, I know I work for a feed company and we're talking about feed, but people don't focus enough on habitat and water. Dude, I don't care if it's bare dirt out here, they're going to go chew on a rock or something if you got it out there. So you need to focus more on your habitat, your water improvement, and then worry about your supplementation program. Once you've got everything in place that you can do from a mother nature standpoint, then you give us a call and we can come in there and take you to the next level. There may be some of you out there that need a lot of protein to start that supplemental feeding program. Well, you don't have to worry. Record Rack can help you schedule a bulk delivery drop-off and even help you fill your feeders if need be. Our delivery is something that we try, you know, not just only to exceed on the nutritional side, but to exceed on the service side. Our bulk quality and bulk delivery service is second to none. I mean, you can look at it whether it's our trucks, we run brand new equipment most of the time, um, and it's continually serviced and checked on. Because there's a lot of companies that you, you run some old, you know, bulk wagons that just used to deliver in cattle cubes that'll just eat deer feed. So bulk delivery is extremely important because you can save money by buying bulk, but if they're bringing you product that's chewed up, has a lot of fines in it or something like that, you're losing money there. You know, the quality of the, the equipment that we use, the driver training, how it's screened. I mean, the, the feed is screened at the plant, then it's screened off the truck, straight into your bin. So bulk delivery is, is a big part of our service package, whether it's coming through a dealer or it's coming direct from the plant. If you're large enough and you can take, you know, a minimum of, of 10 tons, we'll just run it straight from the plant to your ranch. We've got dealers scattered across the country. We have a very extensive dealer network that uh, services that part of the world that'll go and fill, actually fill your feeders for you if you want it to that level. So just depending on what you want, we have so many layers of that that we can meet whatever your service requirement is. You know, supplemental feeding is, is not a, a magic bullet all the time. Just like having a great corn field or a, a bean field out there, it doesn't necessarily mean you're all of a sudden going to walk out and there's going to be 150, 160 inch class deer behind every tree. But if you'll be motivated to stick with the program for a consistent period of time, you'll see great benefits uh, in having a program out there. But understand that it's it, there is no magic bullet out there. All of these tools together will certainly help you see more deer, it will help you potentially see bigger deer, but it's not a magic bullet. Learn more about all the products Record Rack has to offer at sportsmanschoicefeed.com. That will conclude this episode of Cabela's Deer Gear TV. We'll see you next time. I love my Fusion wireless camera. It's the easiest cell cam I've ever set up. Download the command app. Scan the QR code. Everything's done on your phone. All kinds of affordable and different data plans. For as little as $5 a month, you can have your trail cam pictures sent right to your cell phone. You can go into the app, you can change all the camera settings, you can change all the upload settings, and it's got a feature where you can map out where your cameras are. It shows you when the activity has been in front of your cameras. Check it out, the Fusion wireless camera from Stealth Cam. God made a deer farmer, a person who stays up at night to save a sick fawn's life, gets up and still goes to work at sunrise. This person works in the heat, the cold, and the rain. He needs to feed his animals, make sure they have water. If the water's frozen, he must break it so they can drink. 
He needed somebody to collect real scents and smells from deer, to provide hunting scents to the hunters so they could feed their families. So God made a deer farmer. From sun up to sun down, day in and day out, we work hard. We play hard. And to keep us going during those long hours, we demand performance. Angle Coolers, the original high performance cooler. From the backwoods, to the backyard. Sawyer's permethrin, odorless insect repellent, repels and kills mosquitoes, ticks, and other harmful insects. And with just one application lasting for up to six weeks, you can enjoy the outdoors as much as we do. <laughs> Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. It's in our nature to protect, defending our heritage, our way of life, and the ones we love. It's your right. Don't give it up. Protect it or lose it. Walkers. Want to know why the top shooting pros choose HiViz? HiViz has an enormous lineup of sights for every shooting platform possible that are clean looking and easy to mount. Improve your shooting with faster target acquisition and eliminate cross-eyed dominance. HiViz sights are the brightest out there, helping you find your target with ease no matter the shooting conditions. Choose the best, choose HiViz, and see what you've been missing. I came back from Afghanistan with a traumatic brain injury. I couldn't talk. I still can't talk right. I didn't want to leave the house. Then my wife, God bless her, she got me off the couch and said, hey, enough's enough. You got to get back outdoors. The hunting gave me a whole new purpose, you know. It sped up my recovery big time. When I was deployed, I trusted Trader Con, and I still do today. Sergeant Rob Gustafson, U.S. Army retired. Trader Con, brilliant aiming solutions. Money took the box blind industry by storm with the bull. Now they've taken it to the next level with the penthouse. Increased size, larger windows, insulated panels, and everything you've come to expect from an industry leader. Revolutionary designs for any weapon and any situation. Change the way you hunt with a box blind from Muddy Outdoors. Check out Muddy's full line of box blinds today at GoMuddy.com.